everybody. Hello. Welcome back to Tea with Phil and Jen. We are super excited to talk with you today about our upcoming 2019 spring tea trip. That's right. So we're going to uh, share with you the places we're going to go and the route. So um, actually, my mom, Jenny, is going to show me around many places I've never seen before, though we're going to visit some old places. It will be really fun. And um, hopefully this time we can stay on the plan of what we supposed to go. To. Yeah, that's right. When we go over, it's not just about sourcing. Uh, as I learned last year traveling with Jan Li, uh, it's really uh, the trip is really flexible because it's dictated by are the producers able to harvest the tea and make the tea because she's the weather matters. Right? The weather is crucial. Uh, if it's raining, they can't pluck and she goes over there. She's actually working with them, producing the tea checking out every step along the way, helping them out, find ways to improve, etc. It was yeah, so eye-opening. You actually recorded that on uh, one of the magazine, uh, right. uh, the article that we did for the magazine. Right, right. So that was uh, that was really fun, in, not only for Phil, but also for me to see that as well. Yeah, and I'm looking forward to a lot more of it. All the places that we're planning on this year are brand new to me, so I am super excited. So the first stop for uh, for me is always uh, Beijing, and I'm gonna leave uh, uh, much early compared to Phil. Mm -hmm. I'll be here holding down the fort here in Ottawa while Jen heads over to meet up with her mom. Yeah, then we're gonna head uh, south, going to Hubei province, seeing some green tea, and uh, one of the famous green tea there is called Enshi Yulu, from Enshi. Enshi. En, en shi yu lu. Ah, en shi it's a little bit hard to pronounce, but uh, I'll put something on the screen. But that's actually the only uh, Chinese tea that preserves the steam kill green, like oh, a, like a green. Uh, sorry, green tea. I mean Japanese green tea stuff. Right. Kind of thing. So right. that would be fun to look. Yeah, that would be super interesting to taste. Mm hmm. So after that, we will go a little bit south to Hunan province. Oh, that should be awesome. That's, uh, we have tons of uh, dark teas from there. Uh, yeah, like Tianjian, Tianliang Cha, and uh, like Fuzhuan, very famous. Right. Do you think you'll actually be able to see them rolling that up? Like Tianliang yeah, Cha hopefully. is actually rolled by, it takes a bunch of guys to do it because it's a giant it's tea log. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah. would be super cool. If you followed our uh, social media you, uh, a while ago, you probably noticed we're posting something about the dark tea, especially the uh, Tianliang Cha and Tianjian fermenting uh, those clips. So that was taken by my mom when she was there. And this time I'm super excited to uh, see that in person because I've never seen that. Actually, I've never been to Hunan. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I they eat super spicy food, like super spicy. Uh, would you rate them spicier than Sichuan or uh, like a little They're bit less? They're different. You know, different. Sichuan okay. has a lot of oil, like a numb spice and stuff. They seem to be straight up the spice. Very scary, Ouch. I heard. Yeah, because I was, I, in, we were in Sichuan last year, and that was very scary. The not spicy food was terrifying. But you were terrifying. sick, though. Yeah, maybe it's because I was sick. Yeah. Ah, too bad I'm going to miss Hunan, but I'm joining up with you shortly after that. Uh, actually not. Oh, no. <laughs> Hopefully after that, we're looking forward to going to oh, Guangxi province. Oh, that's right, Guangxi. Uh, where they produce green tea and... Um, Jasmine tea, they produce a lot of jasmine tea, but our target would be to uh, looking up the uh, more authentic Liu Bao Cha process. Oh, wow. So another dark tea uh, destination. Yeah, one of my uh, favorite uh, non-Puar dark teas too. So I'm again yeah. really a little bit, I just can't be there the whole time. I've got to hold down the fort here while Jen gets started on the trip. But uh, mm -hmm. hopefully over time, I'll be able to see some of these processes. I just love right? Yubao Cha. Like, what a yeah, great tea. Absolutely. But after that, we're going to meet up in Guangzhou, uh, in Guangdong province. That's where we're going to look at the uh, uh, Dan Song. The Dan Song, right. But yeah. before, before they, hopefully before they're looking at Dan Song, I'll be hooking up with them. I'm a little bit, I have some trepidation. I'm going to be flying over to Beijing and traveling in China for the very first time by myself 
with my limited Chinese. So, my, <laughs> so because I'm a tea guy, my Chinese is pretty much entirely limited. Uh, sorry, entirely limited to tea names, but also foods. I know an uncanny number. No, we have translation of melons, translators, and right? stuff. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it'll be helpful. fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, the place is made for travel. And we'll but... make sure you just stay in the uh, airplane and yeah. do connections. Do a connection and get easier. down there. Yeah, but it's still going to be super fun. <laughs> yes, yes. So, uh, in the Guangdong, we uh, I was there before for the whole Chaoshan area where they、mm. have the best Chinese food. The best.、Oh, you、yeah. don't have to worry about restaurant. You go in, and they're all delicious and、yeah. fresh and. It's just amazing. She's always looking for really great food, so I'm super excited to be able to try some of that. And、uh, also, we're gonna hopefully see some dentsong processing,、uh, oolong processing in general. Is、mm. something I have not That's your seen. First time. That's right. I've seen it. I've seen dark tea, shampuar.、Uh, Got to look at green and yellow tea. Super interesting. But I have not seen firsthand oolong from pluck to finish tea. So I'm very excited about that. Not sure if we'll see the whole thing. It's a bit longer to make oolong, right? You wouldn't、so. see till it's fully like、right. the finished product,、mm-hmm. but definitely from、uh, plucking to the see some shaking、finish. and how that all works. It's yes, just going to、yes. be so fascinating. Lots of early、uh, early mornings and late nights, <laughs> as it is in all of the、uh, processing huts and true, true, true. areas. It's just、uh, it's busy, hard work. Yeah, timing is critical. You got to be there. Yeah. So、uh, at that time we will be at the very south valley of China, and we're slowly heading north alongside the coast. Right. So it's more of a east and north upward kind of thing. That's right. We'll be heading to, northeast. Yeah, to Fujian Province, where、uh, we will meet up with our Anxi、uh, Teguanyin producer. So excited! <laughs> I feel like he will get you very drunk. Yeah. Well, that's not why I'm excited fully. But、uh, so th- our Taiwan Yin producer is somebody we've been working with for a long time,、uh, a long, long time. So I'm very excited to meet him. And the Taiwan Yin he makes is just stellar.、Uh, your favorite, the Taiwan Yin classic,、yeah. is from him. So I'm really interested to see that process. Meet the man, beh- the genius behind the tea. Finally, a、uh, very fun guy. Yeah, and exactly, <laughs> and hopefully share a few a few glasses of Bai Jiu with him as well. And、yeah. get to know each other a little better. So that is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah,、uh, I definitely have to keep my health up this time so that I can、uh, enjoy my trip to the max. I know. I really hope it should、yeah. be all right. Should be all right. Bad luck last time, but that'll be、uh, that'll、yeah. be fine this time. And we will use、um, Anxi as a little hub, and might go a little bit. Might be going to、uh, jumping to、uh, bring him to see some jumping shui xian,、mm. and、uh, one of my.、Uh, Most my most like one of the destination that I wanted to go the most is actually、uh, Yongchun to see、mm-hmm. the tea to actually get some、uh, Yongchun Fu Shou. So we have really、oh. good,、uh, great、uh, like a great lead there, but、um, still want to be there to see it. It's great. So we'll、tea. be meeting a new person there、yeah. who does Fu Shou, which、yeah. is a、uh, which is a rock tea. Yeah. Uh, and literally translated means Buddha's hand for yeah.、Anybody. It's actually a fruit or a plant or something that has that aroma.、Uh, that's, that's why、right. the tea that's、right. is like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I suppose it, it has that kind of citrusy.、Uh, the Buddha's hand actually is a very citrusy, fragranced、uh, thing, and this tea emulates that.、Uh, so that will be very interesting to see. I wonder what that will be like when they just bring in the leaf and the because the leaf is very fragrant when they're working with it. So. That should be very interesting.、Mm. Yes, yes, and and that's、uh, in Yun Yunchun. Yunchun, like the Yung, Yungchun, Kung Fu. Yunchun, Yunchun, right? Okay, <laughs> that's a good way to remember.、Uh, yeah, and then we will keep heading north a bit to the border between、uh, Fujian Province and Zhejiang Province. Oh,、uh, I know, I know what's there. <laughs> Tai Mushan. That's right. Our white tea in producers fooding area. in the fooding area.、Yeah. Yes. So、uh, that's where our white tea producer is located, and、uh, that's the the requested、uh, place by Phil. Yes, our white tea producers are a pair of monks.、Uh, this couple's been working together for quite a long time. They make absolutely exquisite white tea. Uh, Tooting my own horn, but still, they just they just do that so well, and、uh, it's an interesting pair. She is an unknown age, but somewhere in the eighties zone. Um, nobody knows, and he is a younger gentleman, 
And of course, they engage the, in, in the harvest time. They can't do everything by themselves, but they mm -hmm. do a heck of a lot by themselves. They engage the village to help with the plucking and bringing the tea in, but the yeah. processing is all overseen mm -hmm. by them. I am really excited to meet them and just see fooding and, and the whole area. We, we've got pictures of it on our blog. I've seen pictures. I've read about it, written about it. All of our white tea come from that garden That's and right. stuff. It's, and mm -hmm. if you see the picture of the uh, of Tai Mushan, you see how the how great the natural uh, environment is. And that's mm -hmm. why they could afford just two people to take care of the tea garden because there are not much to do. Right. A lot of times they really uh, <laughs> the, let the tea plants be themselves. Right. And while they have competitions and stuff, you may, might suffer from some you know, bug bites, but it's never a problem right. because there's natural competition. It's really funny how that is a recurring theme kind of everywhere you go and see high quality tea. I'm just recalling last year, of course, Yunnan, very different climate, very different environment, very different type of tea plant, but we're still, when we have great tea, we still see the same thing. And nearly wild conditions that are just, just happen to be a pinnacle situation for tea to thrive. Some shade, lots of humidity, you know, those weeds growing everywhere, parasites on the plants. Right, right, right. So I guess I'm looking That's forward. That's actually like a must for a gray tea. Mm. It cannot be like a grow in the Overly full cultivated. anchor of just tea. Right, right. right. So, uh. yeah. And from fooding, and uh, so that's that's got us almost touching Zhejiang, correct? Mm -hmm. We're going to be right at the tippy tip top of Fujian mm -hmm. province, and I'm trying to remember. After that, we're heading to the capital of porcelain, which right. is. I I still don't remember, but I do remember that we're going to the cap. So it's <laughs> not all about tea, right? It's yes, also yes. about tea it's culture. It's a Jindezhen. Uh, I it's a place I always wanted to go and never had a chance, and. Yeah, it's like the innovation they do is so, so are, impressive. So That's what are we talking about see. here? Are we talking about they make gaiwan, they make teacup, they, everything porcelain they make? That's right. Wow. And they do a lot of innovative things there. And um, just so great. They're, they are, they have a, like a, a huge fame, a huge reputation, and they're not sitting on top of it. They're doing innovations with modern ah. arts, with a lot of, uh, they're absorbing new things as well. And that sets like a, a, a set of a standard or a bar for a lot of other places. For example, Yixin Tea Pot Maker. Some people actually go to Jindezhen to learn some new concept, learn what mm. they could do, what they can break and bring new things in to what they right. know. So, so they're actually going beyond just great porcelain. They're actually pushing the boundaries of form and function. such that, And it, it's so artistic that other craftspeople will go there just for ideas. And, oh, that's so neat that they kind of germinate each other and help each other along. Mm -hmm. That's um, why I really, really look forward to that place as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So do you know, after sipping, what tea is this? Oh, boy. I've been really... Uh, <laughs> focused on the video and not really paying much attention, but uh, pretty sure it's a green tea. Let me have a sip. Mm -hmm. I didn't even notice how many infusions were on like infusion four or something. I didn't pay attention either. Mm. Four? Basically, I'm just stalling for time, trying to... Uh, <laughs> hmm. Which green tea is this? I feel like it's green. Can I stare at the leaf? Can I have a peek at the leaf? This is yeah. a big this is a big hint, so if she lets me look at the leaf, that'll be helpful. Because I know a it little. won't be helpful. It won't be helpful. <laughs> I'm gonna smell it, I'm gonna peek at it, I'm gonna poke it. It's uh I didn't see it when it's I'm gonna grab one out. This is a tricky question. I know it's not that tricky, but I'm still stalling. So I've got a okay, I'll make one that pod, easier. one leaf standard. I yeah, think yeah. it's uh I'm gonna dive in and take a guess. This is standard. It's scented? What? Okay, I totally did not notice that it was it's a scented It's a scented tea. green tea, but it's scented with magnolia. Magnolia. That magnolia. is really not a strong scented tea. Really light. Nothing That's like why you jasmine. Couldn't, you is, couldn't... Ja is magnolia stinky? No, not stinky. Okay. It's a light, really light uh, orchid. Mm. Orchid. 
I mean, orchid kind of a mm-hmm, flavor, mm-hmm. but a slightly sweeter. Is magnolia here sweet? Like a flor fragrance?、Uh, Chinese ones are. Anyways, not a flower guy. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, so that about wraps up the outline of what we think our trip will look like. But as we said, it、yeah. all depends on the weather. We never really know, so be sure to follow us in all of our various social media outlets.、Mm-hmm. All the links are are down down below. Yeah,、yes. yeah, down below. Yeah. So、uh, definitely、uh, stay tuned and let us know what kind of stuff you want to learn about this year. Yes, absolutely. Please comment below and let us know what you want to see more about、mm-hmm. a tea trip. You know, tea gardens. Process or just、yep. in general our experience. What are you guys interested in? Just let us know. Yeah, and if you like、uh, to know more about our 2018 tea trip, be sure to check out our charter magazine, where you can find what we experienced, what we learned, and what we saw in the tea field, and some reflections of what we experienced as well. Yeah, link for that will also be down below.、Mm-hmm. So, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be the first to know when we release a new video. Right. Till next time. Keep steeping.